really wizards you're comparing your product to drugs is that really a good look So today I want to talk about the streets of New Capenna because Wizards of the Coast put out an interesting article on Wizard Play Network. I'm going to read through the article in total, but I think you'll see where I have my issue towards the end. This is my opinion, so please do take it with a grain of salt. Boost in store, play with unique event ideas. Streets of New Capenna offers players the opportunity to step into the city's golden age and rule crime in a world beneath the surface. Hosting unique events that capitalize on the Golden Age theme will keep your players coming to your store over and over throughout the season. Let's dive in and cover a few strategies to help spark inspiration for fun events you can host at your own store. I was thinking maybe swing dancing or prohibition level alcohol. I'm kidding, of course. Prepare your set poster placement. Your Streets of New Capenna marketing kit will include a 24 by 18 set poster. Unlike recent sets, this poster is landscape format, so you will need to rethink your placement for it depending on how you arranged your previous set posters. You can see the poster here. It looks really good. It has all five guild leaders that we're aware of. The names of each of these criminal houses. A topic sentence for what we expect them to do. Including the phrase, fun isn't free, which is a little too on the nose, wizards. Really, fun isn't free. <laughs> and then, of course, the colors that go with those skills. In many cases, the set poster is the cornerstone of your advertising for upcoming sets, so be sure it's placed prominently. In North America and Latin America, marketing kits will begin delivering March 23rd, and in other regions, it will begin delivering April 25th. It's how the set releases at the end of April. That's a little tight. And it will include welcome boosters and bring a friend promos. Welcome boosters and bring a friend promos will be shipped separately in North America and Latin America and are expected to begin delivering April 25th alongside the Dungeons and Dragons Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate promos. That's a sentence. Those promos are being revealed very soon, so keep an eye on this space for more info. Encourage cosplay at Commander Launch Party. That's, that's an interesting idea. Um, by the time we hit Commander Launch Party, which is pretty far after the set's been released, people will know enough of the set. They'll know what houses they're interested in. Many Magic the Gathering players, I imagine, already have zoot suits and fedoras if they grew up in the time I was growing up, so not impossible. If your community is feeling creative, you can encourage them to arrive at Commander Launch Parties dressed to the nines. <laughs> oh man, after all, Commander Launch Party is rolling out for the first time with this set, so you don't want to miss the opportunity to make it special. All of your early marketing efforts for Streets of New Capenna should encourage players to choose their family, which make an event with a dress-up element even more appealing to attend. That's a lot of assumptions. You can speak even more fun com you can spark sorry even more fun competition by assigning colors to each of the five mob families of New Capenna, allowing players to show loyalty to their chosen side by wearing the colors of their favored family. Uh, okay. If your community is especially eager about dressing up, you may even hold a costume contest at your store for some extra small prizes of your choice. You can always hold multiple during Commander Nights throughout the season to allow players the most opportunities to showcase their creativity. Host a Gilded Pre-Release Take inspiration from the Art Deco appeal of New Capenna and fill your play space with decor that inspires players to take them directly to the gilded streets of New Capenna. You may try something simple like table numbers printed in thematically appropriate font or putting a few golden decorations during pre-release. You can also go all out with a photo backdrop or temporary golden window treatments. With whose money does Wizards expect us to do this? In addition, you may encourage your employees to greet players as they arrive, treating them like a true gala of the golden age. Make your own halo. This is the part that might lose a lot of people, so I apologize. Halo is a magical substance that rules the criminal underworld of New Capenna. Sought after by, for, by all for its magical enhancing qualities, 
It comes in many forms, such as crystals, liquids, and vapors, and you can consider adding your own to your in-store events. I roll. You may present this ethereal substance by adding stones or crystals as part of your decorations, but if you'd rather serve it as a snack or beverage, you can be creative by using treats like rock candy or fruity punch. Remember, please do not serve in beverage work commonly associated with alcoholic beverages, i.e. martini glasses. Remember, magic is for all ages, and we should feel welcomed by encouraging members of all ages to do drugs publicly with other people who play Magic the Gathering a hobby that is more expensive than most drugs, including Legacy. <laughs> Streets of New Capenna releases April 29th. That gives you plenty of time to try out one or more of these ideas at your events. Please know that live metrics will include event reporting from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty set release and forwards. Please make sure you're scheduling with Wizards event links so that your players can easily find and sign up to your events. I think I have run plenty of RPGs in my time, so I might not be in a, the right place to be speaking of this. But when I use drugs as a reference in an RPG or a game I'm running or playing, it's always as something negative that is hurting the lowest class. That is, somebody else is using as an item of power or control over somebody else, much like it is in the real world. My family has had members struggle with drugs and drug abuse for a very long time. I had one family member that had to flee their home state and go somewhere else, and I'm not even sure where because I'm not in contact with them anymore, because of death threats from a drug dealer over what seems to be a miscommunication or misunderstanding. I'm not fully okay with this idea of making Magic the Gathering analogous with drugs and making the drug abuse part of Halo in a prohibition type setting part of events with potentially children and adults feels like a mistake. I mean, depending on how it is done, I guess it could be a lot of fun and really cool. But I wonder if they're not like creating a huge risk and overstepping in some places here. Now, this is my opinion. Of course, I have family reasons that make me play a certain way. I really want to hear you guys' opinions in the comments below, and if you think this is weird or strange. It just struck me as something that maybe they shouldn't do, like comparing your games to drugs and making references to crime is more okay when our criminals are not the heroes of our story. We're entering a plane where they're telling us we have to choose a mafia family to be a member of. It feels bad to me. And that's really all I'll say about that. I really want to hear what you guys have to say about it. So please let me know. Um, for the use, subscribe if you want to get on this list. If you want to help support the channel and what I do and make sure I make more videos, you can join these lovely people right here. I love these people to death. I'm going to put a video up here that's going to relate to something else. I don't know what yet because Capenna is not is so far from being out that we'll just have to see what tickles my fancy. On that, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you have a great day.